What are we talking about today? NFTs. Uh, we always start with the basics. You might be wondering, what does that stand for? You know, nice freaking tits. Not for uh, teens. No frog Tuesdays. No, no. Actually, what NFT stands for in the context of this lesson, we're talking about a non fungible token. Now, what, what does that mean exactly? Well, we look at the word fungible. Put simply, able to be fungied. Fungible. So non fungible means not able to be fungied. Fungi referring to fungus. If fungible means able to be fungied and fungied refers to fungus, then it would make sense to believe that non-fungible is referring to not being able to be fungied as in not being able to be fungused. So that would lead you to believe that an NFT as a non-fungible token is referring to, a, you know, you, you say adjective referring to a what? Noun, a token. What is an NFT? Non-fungible token. It is a token that is not able to be fungi, as in a token that can't have fungus grown on it. Uh, what's so special about a non-fungible token? Keyword, authenticity. To what purpose do they serve? They provide a digital signature on items to signify uniqueness. So let's say for an example, um, I want to give a piece of art authenticity, a, a marker for its uniqueness. So let's say I have some art. This is uh, what I'm dubbing, you know, this is my own personal unique creation, my submissive and breedable NFT. And, you know, I could say it. I can say to you, this is my art. But how do I prove it? How does the world know that this is mine? This is my unique Astolfo uh, monkey NFT. I don't want anyone else claiming ownership of this Astolfo monkey. So I can turn it into an NFT that will signify to everyone, hey, hands off. Hey, if you see this and you, it doesn't have the authentic signature, it's not, it's not authentic. It's not unique. Let's, let's, let's do a little deeper dive right now. It's hard to really describe things if we, we don't have a good base understanding of things. If we don't even have simple definitions for these crucial terms, how can we really learn about NFTs? So what we're going to do now is we're going to break down some of these concepts, the blockchain in Ethereum. Let's start with the blockchain. Starting as simple as possible. An NFT, non-fungible token, is secured on the blockchain. So, so the question is like, well, what is a blockchain? A blockchain is a literal chain of monkeys that are trained to guard the authenticity of the NFT on a 24 seven basis. That's why you see so many images of monkeys when looking at a discussion of an NFT. Even if you don't really know about NFTs, you've seen the monkey, why? It's because again, the blockchain is a literal chain of monkeys that are tasked with defending the authenticity of the non-fungible token. The blockchain is very much like, a, 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 you can think of it as very much like a, a chain gang uh, that you would see in like an old school prison. Uh, this chain gang of monkeys surround the NFT to ensure that no unauthorized use or distribution occurs. In other words, they can block access via a literal chain of monkeys. The blockchain is quite literal. You know, you think it's some convoluted thing, quite literal, that's what a blockchain is. Okay, we talked about the blockchain, now we're gonna discuss Ethereum. What is Ethereum? Well, you might, you might see that NFTs are sold online for millions of dollars. Why? And that's really like the main question, like why? Ethereum is an extremely rare and valuable mineral, very much in line with titanium 
vibranium, ethereum. Uh, unlike copium, right, uh, as like a, an opposite example, as a foil, copium is very common and very easy to mine. You need no training. Uh, many of you can, can start mining copium right now. Ethereum is the material used to make the actual token. We talk about non-fungible tokens. Well, where does the token part come in? Comes in right now with Ethereum. Ethereum is the material smelted down to make the actual tokens. This process of turning the Ethereum into the actual token, extremely costly and a very convoluted, complicated process involving what? Graphic cards. If you've noticed, if you're into computers at all, the cost of graphics cards has risen so greatly. Why? Well, the graphics cards, okay, are combined and, and used, right, RTX on. They're used to project a hyper-realistic depiction of the Greek god Hephaestus, okay? Bear with me, hang on. You know, have you ever seen those Minecraft mods where things look like real? Like the water, it looks like real and the, the ray tracing. Right, that's what it is. It's, it's that, you know, you ever wonder what ray tracing is? You always see it in the Minecraft mods. That, that, this is what ray tracing is. The ray tracing is so realistic on this Hephaestus projection that it's able to, to become tangible and interact with our reality or what we believe to be real. And the true power of RTX on to make the blacksmith god literally forge the Ethereum into the token. I think it would be a disservice to speak on non-fungible tokens, NFTs, without touching on the concept of cryptocurrency in the name. What do we see here? Currency and crypto. Cryptocurrency is the currency used by who? Crypto. Cryptids. A cryptid is an animal that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the world. Somewhere in the wild, but are not believed to exist by mainstream science. Examples include Bigfoot, Mothman, Loch Ness Monster. That we have the first part, cryptid, crypto. Currency, as in money, yes. Cryptocurrency is the form of currency used by cryptids in their underground society. When there is currency, there is what? Yes, banks banks in the crypto society, these banks are run on the premise of non-fungible tokens. Why? Well, uh, cryptids, like I said, are very unique, a uh, very unique species, um, very much different from our own. One very unique and key trait about cryptids is that they are all deathly allergic to mushrooms, AKA what? Yes, fungi. So they needed a way to ensure that their currency was protected without any chance of exposure to mushrooms, to fungi, hence non-fungible tokens, AKA a currency that does not allow fungus to grow on them. And that is how cryptocurrency relates back to NFTs. That's why NFTs are what they are. Mm -hmm.